Hi everybody, today I have an Apple iMac G3 with a 333 MHz PowerPC G3 processor and 160 MB of RAM. The unique thing about this iMac is that it has not one, but two operating systems on one hard drive. One of those is Mac OS 9.2.2 and the other is Mac OS 10.3 Panther, which is Mac OS X. So, on the side, you see it has two USB ports a Ethernet port, a phone jack, headphones jack, and a microphone jack. It also has two more headphone jacks right here in the front on the speaker. And just like the newer Macs, you notice very little wiring. One wire for the mouse, one wire for the keyboard, and of course one wire for the power cord. And the mouse is piggybacking off the keyboard. You can see there. All right. So uh, let's get started by turning it off, see how it goes. As you see here, it has a keyboard and a Apple Pro mouse. Nothing's wrong with the screen, that's just the camera. Alright, let me see if type in my password real quick. Okay, here we go. We're on the main um, desktop. It's starting up. Speakable items is ready. That is the speakable items icon. And when you press the button, a certain button on the keyboard, that's the zero button on the keypad. That's how I programmed it. Um, it makes, it will do certain tasks for you, such as open or close an application, and tell you the date and time and a few other things. So kind of a neat little program there. Alright, about this computer. And as I said before, it has 160 megabytes of RAM. We're running OS 9.2.2. So let's go to control panel. Now we're going to transition to um, Mac OS 10.3. So we're going to go to startup disk right here, as you can see. And it's examining the hard drive. Now you see that you see another uh, iMac G3 system, and that is OS 10.3. You can probably barely see it if you can see it at all. Um, we're going to click on that and press restart. Now the computer will now restart. Loading circles, there it goes, it came up. For a little computer like this, I find it pretty surprising that it can run it can run two operating systems. Especially Panther, because Panther's you know, Panther needs some good uh, spec. It needs um, you need to have some pretty good system uh, system specs for it to run good, and it actually does run quite smoothly. All right, type in login information. There we 
go. I'm logging in. Funny wallpaper. <laughs> Need to set the clock right here. And this one also has that program, kind of like speakable items, but um, I forgot the name of it. But I know when you press the button, it'll do, it'll run certain programs and do other tasks for you. And here we go. We're now on Mac OS. 10.3 Panther, and you can read the funny wallpaper if you want. It has Stewie on there from Family Guy. It's pretty funny. All right, now let's go to about this Mac just on this operating system also shows version 10.3 with 333 megahertz processor power PCG3 and with 160 megabytes RAM so let's exit out of that and it, if you also notice there is classic right here so you can actually start classic you can run Mac OS 9 on the 10.3 desktop the Mac OS X 10.3 desktop so you can actually run Mac OS 9 programs in 10.3 or go to Mac OS 9 and run them there. So that's pretty neat. So you can see all the programs that um, Mac OS 9 has. And I'm not going to start Classic, but you get the idea. Because uh, Classic does take a little while to start up. So there it is. Right there on the taskbar. And if, say, if you want to switch back, just go to System Preferences either here or click down here and click there and a little icon way at the bottom called startup disk you're going to click on that it's examining the hard drive and there's 10.3 uh, right there there's Mac OS 9 right here so uh, there's Mac OS 9 10.3 and then there's the network startup. I have set a password on mine to prevent any unauthorized uh, changing of the operating system. I do know the password, but you uh, most but it comes uh, without a password when you install 10.3. So you can set your own or or something like that. Anyway, there it is. And as you can see here, it has um, well anyway there it is and you can switch back to Mac OS 9 just by clicking there and then clicking restart. Let's check that out here. All right. Thank you very much for watching and looking at this video.